Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're taking a look at the size and weights and screens of the Garmin handheld GPS devices that we stock. We've got them all laid out in front of us. So this isn't going to be an in-depth technical review on using the units or all of the specs. It's just to look at the size, weights and the screens on the units. But underneath this video, we have got links to each of the product pages that have full detailed specs and information on the units. And we also have links to videos that we've put together on our walk and talk series, where you see us out walking with the units to give you a feel of what the units are like to use in the field. So left to right, we've got the smallest unit on the far left hand side, which is the eTrex 32X. We also stock the 22X, which is the same unit just without the electronic compass and barometric altimeter. The next one along the black and white screen, the black and yellow unit is the eTrex SC unit. And the third one along is the GPS Map 65S. This unit, we also stock the GPS Map 65 that doesn't have the electronic compass, but the same sizes. So the first three units all are powered by AA batteries, two sets of AA batteries not included. The fourth item along is the GPS map 67i. The I denotes that it has the SOS button on the side. This is the one with two-way satellite communication from a subscription service. But we do stock the GPS map 67, which again, same size and weights, just without the SOS button and the two-way satellite communication. And finally, the last one is the Montana 700 series. This unit, we also stock the 700i, the i being the one with the SOS button and two-way satellite communication, and the 750i, which has a camera and the SOS button, but same weights and sizes. The main difference between these two at the end, the 67 and Montana 700 series, they have rechargeable batteries included. So it's a built-in lithium battery on the 67 series, and it's a removable lithium battery on the Montana 700. 100 series. You'll notice that all colour screen bar the monochrome screen of the eTrex SE. So what we've done with all of the units that have got the colour screen, we've installed an Ordnance Survey 1 to 25 map card that we sell as a package for all of the units. We do also sell the Ordnance Survey 1 to 50 K map card with the units as well. And what we've done on all five units is marked a point further ahead and asked the units to navigate to that single point just so you can get an idea what the units look like with a navigational line. And we've actually got a compass pointer on the screen as well to help us navigate to that point that we've marked further ahead. So I'm just going to go through the size and weights first. And I'm going to start with the eTrex 32X here, which has a colour screen. So the eTrex 32X I've got in my hand comes in at 141.7 grams with the AA batteries fitted. The size of it is 5.4 centimetres wide. The height of it is 10.3 centimetres and a depth of 3.3 centimetres. The screen size we tend to measure across the diagonal. So it's actually 5.6 centimetres across the diagonal, which would be 2.2 inches. The unit itself has the Garmin spine mount attachment on the back. So you can attach things like the Garmin backpack tether to carry it, belt clip, and also things like the cycle mount that fit on the back of the unit. The two AA batteries simply go in the back of the unit. You can see it's a colour screen on the unit. It's actually button control so we use the joystick to move around menus and move around on the map and we've got in and out buttons to zoom in and out on the side and again I've got a button here where if I press the back button I can scroll between shortcut menus so I've actually got the compass set up as a shortcut menu trip computer on the actual trip computer screen you can see we've got the standard data boxes here we can actually change this to bigger numbers where you have less boxes but you have some larger data boxes if you're worried about the size of the screen but this is the lightest smallest most compact unit out of all the devices you do need a computer with this device to transfer any routes tracks waypoints to the unit using the usb cable that is supplied but it does need a computer it doesn't work with any of the garmin apps but a really nice lightweight compact unit 
with a colour screen. So this is the smallest about all of the units. It has got an IP67 rating, so totally fine being used in the outdoors. In fact, all of the units have got IP67 ratings, and all of the units have got what we call trans-reflective screens, so there's no problem seeing the screens in bright sunlight. And the same if it's dark, the backlit screens and work absolutely fine with head torches. So that's the smallest out of all of the units. I've actually put a compass pointer at the top because sometimes people worry about the screen size if you were following a route. So you will see a pink line on the screen if you were following a route, but you can use that compass pointer either on the top of the map or we've also got just the single compass screen that you can use when you're navigating and you can actually zoom in and out on the map. We've got the little up and down buttons that let us zoom in and out on the map on the unit. Next one I'm going to move to is the next one up in size which is the Garmin new eTrex SE device. So this unit comes in with the two AA batteries at 156.5 grams. The size of it is 6.1 centimeters wide 10 centimetres tall and the depth is actually the same as the Etrex 2232, 3.3 centimetres. Screen is virtually the same size, 5.5 centimetres across the diagonal, which is 2.16 inches. It takes two AA batteries which go in the back of the unit and it has the same spine attachment where we can attach the belt clips, the backpack tethers and the cycle mounts. But the first thing you'll see with this unit, it is a black and white screen so we don't have maps on the screen. If you were following a route, you'd be following a black line and you would be the black triangle moving across the screen. Whereas on the colour unit, we do have the maps with the blue triangle which is your position and a pink line to follow. But with this unit, what is nice, you can move between screens and have a simple compass pointer and again we have trip computer screens where we can change the layout the same as the smaller eTrex 22 32 unit. What is really nice about this unit is it pairs with the new Garmin Explore app so you don't actually need a computer with it to send information to the device. You can transfer your GPX routes, tracks etc using the Explore app so you never need to touch a computer and actually when you're using it alongside the Garmin Explore app if you've got no mobile signal but you've sent a route already to the explore app you can actually open up the the route on the maps um, downloaded when you're offline on the actual app on the screen of your phone and then follow the same line on the device so as a bit of backup you can have um, maps that don't need internet once you've actually downloaded them to your phone and you can see yourself moving across the phone using the GPS signal from the GPS device. I mean the idea is to conserve batteries, you're not going to use your phone in that way all of the time you're going to use the SE with the black line to follow but it's nice for backup that you can bring a map up. It is a Garmin topographical map, it isn't an Ordnance Survey map but it's nice to know that feature is there. So that is the Etrex SE unit, the next sized unit up. So we're now going to move to another colour screen unit. Um, again, this is button control. So those first two units are all button control. This again is button control. It's only the Etrex 2232 that has the joystick. So the SE is buttons on the side of the unit to move around. This unit you'll see, it's got all the buttons on the front. Some people find the button control a bit easier than the joystick control on the smaller um, SE device. So I'm just going to run through the weights and sizes again. So the 60 65 unit is 217 grams with a set of AA batteries. The, the width of it is 6.1 centimetres. The height is 16 centimetres, but bear in mind we've got the quad helix aerial sticking out the top, and the depth of it is 3.6 centimetres. If I turn it round on its back, it's actually got the same spine attachment as the first two units for connecting things like the backpack tether, cycle mount, belt clip, and the two A. A batteries are housed in the back of the unit. This GPS device does have USB connection so you can send routes and tracks to it from a computer but it does actually work with the Garmin Explore app so you can use the Garmin Explore app to send stuff to it so it's really only the eTrex 2232X that 100% needs a computer to send information to it whereas the SE and the 65 unit we can use the Explore app to transfer information to the unit. We've got button control on this unit so we've got in and out buttons we can zoom in and out on the map screen. We can move around using up and down 
buttons on the unit. So it's nice and simple with the button control and we can quickly move between shortcut screens similar to the other units. We've got a compass pointer we can use and a trip computer screen and various other screens that you can set up as shortcuts. So again, a very popular unit, very robust unit, IP67, the same as the other unit, but this one does have a slightly bigger screen, which is 6.6 .6 centimeters across the diagonal or 2.6 inches. And we've got an Ordnance Survey map loaded on this unit. So we're gonna to move to the next one along size wise which is probably our most popular seller at the moment, which is the GPS Map 67 series. So this is the one with the SOS button, the 67i, where we've got the two-way satellite communication. Again, a colour screen on this unit with Ordnance Survey Maps loaded and the button control. So the weight on this unit is 230 grams. The size is 6.2 centimetres wide. 16.3 centimetres high, again with a quad helix aerial sticking out the top and the depth is 3.5 centimetres. It's got the same spine attachment on the back for the accessories such as the backpack tether, cycle mount, etc. This one has a built-in battery so you don't actually take the battery out of the unit but it's got a really big battery life of over 160 hours and we've got the USB connection on the back there. But this one again works with the Garmin Explore app and actually the Garmin Connect app this one works with. So you can get away without a computer if you do need to transfer routes, tracks, etc. to the device. Screen size, we're going up in screen size again. It's 7.6 centimetres across the diagonal, which is three inches across the diagonal. So slightly bigger screen. Again, we've got buttons where we can zoom in and out using the buttons. We've got the same button control if you want to go to shortcut menus that we set up. So again, you can use a compass pointer to point you to the next point in a route or single point navigation. Bring up a trip computer. We can't actually change the layout of the trip computer to again make some of these boxes bigger, which we can do on all of the units. But this is probably our most popular unit, I think, because it's mid-sized um, unit and, you know, nice, still nice and lightweight, nice and slim to carry, especially if you're into things like trail running, it's not too bulky. Um, so this is the GPS map 67 unit. So the biggest unit that we've got, which is the Montana 700, series so the big difference with this one is obviously the size of it but it is touchscreen as well so you move around using the touchscreen on this unit and all of the icons for selecting different screens are along the bottom using the touchscreen so i'll do the size and weights of this unit first so it's 397 grams with the built-in lithium rechargeable battery the width of the unit is 8.76 centimeters it is 16 sorry 18.30 centimetres tall and the depth of it is 3.27 centimetres but it does have the biggest screen out of all of the units 12.7 centimetres across the diagonal or five inches now this device doesn't have the spine attachment on the back we've got the battery that is removable on the back you can attach a bike mount to the unit but other than that the only attachment other than the motorbike and say a mountain bike or pedal cycle mount is a lanyard connection we do actually do a nice carry case for this unit so there is a carry case you can use to carry it now on the actual unit itself, you can see it's got the biggest screen. We can zoom in and out on the touch screen. I know a lot of people worry about touch screen in bad weather, but you can actually lock the screen. And what's nice about this unit, I'll link to a video below actually showing us using the unit in the rain. It has a rain setting, which um, changes the sensitivity so it works fine in the rain. Unlike my phones, which don't often work very well in the rain. Totally uh, weather rated at IP67. And we do actually have a glove setting for it as well so that we can use it with gloves on as well and we can lock the screen but we have got the shortcut menus that we can quickly go through to get other menus up on the screen so I'm just going to go back to the map and again we can zoom in and out on the map and I've put the compass pointer at the top of the map it's just pointing along this pink line to a point I've marked to navigate to Biggest unit out of the lot, biggest screen out of the lot, very popular with trail riders on motorbikes, mountain bikers, we do have walkers and hikers use the unit as well who just want the convenience of that much bigger unit but knowing the unit's tough, waterproof, has a gorilla glass screen and it's not going to be bothered 
by the weather. Now, all of these units have got what we call transreflective screens. It's actually in bright sunlight. They're all absolutely fine in the bright sunshine. No problems using them. So really, the idea of this video was more to give you an idea of the size and weights of the units. So just remember the smallest and lightest one in the far left is the Etrex 22 or 32 unit. The 32 has the advantage of the electronic compass and the barometric altimeter that we don't have on the 22. It's button control with buttons on the side and the joystick, but you can't use this one with any of the Garmin apps. You do need a computer with USB cable if you want to send routes and tracks etc to the unit and it works on two AA batteries. The next one along was the Etrex SE in size. This is the latest unit with a monochrome screen but what's nice with this unit you can use it alongside the Garmin Explore app so you don't necessarily need a computer and when you use it alongside the app any navigation you're doing you can actually view yourself moving across an offline map that you can download to the app so even if you haven't got mobile data connection you can still see yourself on a map on your phone but using the GPS signal from the device. Um, AA batteries again with this unit. Third one along is the GPS Map 65 series. Push button control again. This one has AA batteries. Colour screen of course you can see it's got the OS um, maps loaded. This unit um, does work with the Explore app. It doesn't actually work with the Garmin Connect app but there is the Garmin Explore app or you could use a computer to send routes and tracks etc to the unit. The fourth long along which is probably one of our most popular units at the moment is the GPS Map 67 series. So we do the 67 or the 67i that has the SOS button on the side. Again push button control Colour screen works with all of the Garmin apps as in the Garmin Explore app and the Garmin Connect app for syncing data and sending routes to the device or you can use a computer with this unit. Really big battery life, it's over 100 hours, it's something like 160 hours plus with a built-in battery. That will depend on what settings you've got on the unit and how long you keep the screen on. For this video I've actually kept the screens on all the time on the units but normally we have them going off after so many seconds just to conserve battery. You wouldn't normally have the screens on all the time and finally the biggest unit which is the Montana 700 series this is the only touch screen unit in the line out but again a very tough weatherproof unit with a gorilla glass screen a touch screen that works in all weathers that you can actually lock um, a unit that's very popular with trail riders mountain bikers because we do a big chunky um, bike mount or motorbike mount with charging cables for this unit but it is the largest about all the units and again this one actually works with all of the apps either Garmin Connect or Garmin Explore or you can use a computer to transfer routes and tracks etc to the device. So I hope you found this video useful just showing you sort of the sizes, weights and dimensions and having all the units lined up alongside each other. Remember the links below to all the product pages cover the full specs and features of the units and we've also linked to videos showing the units in use. Remember if you do purchase a handheld GPS device from GPS to training included with your package is access to all of our training videos to help you get going along with email and telephone support all included with the package when you purchase a unit from GPS training and thanks for watching.